Okay, we're here in uh, McCroom revisiting this uh, uh, remnant oak from the ancient wildwood. Um, recently we visited here to meet uh, Ted Cook and he told us all about this tree and uh, we were passing and uh, the seasons have changed so it's fully, it's almost fully in leaf now and uh, we've been lucky enough to find a few uh, oak, oak seedlings taking root over here adjacent to the tree on the other side. We just got this, it's a little oak seedling, this year's seedling so you can see the acorn on top of the ground and that's come from, this is the parent here, 900 year old oak, one year old oak just in the first growing season. Do I need to say more? It uh, gives you it gives you room for optimism. We'll get those planted up in the autumn, bring them back here somewhere locally, or might even plant them in Norcock, although the closer the better. So this is a very significant tree. It's actually a very significant tree. It's about 900 years of age. Uh, it's got a whole community of lichens and mosses and all sorts of things growing on. Huge amount of biodiversity and insects. You could, you could probably spend years just studying this one tree alone. But it's a reminder to us of what was here. Uh, hundreds of years ago and what could be here again I mean as I say it's, it's still producing oak still producing fruit and uh, still producing life and uh, you know the generations of, of oak trees could go on with the genetic memory that's specific to this tree it's his, its knowledge of history climate change and uh, challenges to it is contained in its genetic structure so it's a it's a remnant and it's a uh, it's a person of the, con of, the, of the soil, if you like, or it's a tree of the soil. It knows this place, it's an expert in this place, and it has memory. If it could talk to us, it could tell us a history of what's happened around this area here in McCrew, very, very near Cork City. It could tell us of the history, and it'll be here long after we're gone. And hopefully, uh, its sons and daughters will be here long after we're gone, and there'll be a gen regeneration of this, this example of longevity. And as well as all that, um, it's nature's nature's sculpture. I mean, there's, there's no artist, no human artist, in my opinion, can produce a piece of artwork or anything that comes near the beauty of this. It's, it's, uh, some people might say God, some people would say nature, but it's certainly the, the handiwork of something bigger than us. And uh, it's humbling, it's inspiring, and it's just, it's just beautiful to look at. Yeah.